Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin and I am here to announce the final dragon for the 100 dragon challenge. So we made it, we're done. This is the final video of the series and I can't believe we're here. <laughs> After doing the recap, it was really fun to jump into this final dragon and basically put the final bow on this giant drawing challenge. So if you're new to this channel or you just found this video, I've been doing a 100 drawing challenge for five years. This challenge was based off of a video I saw from Jake Parker where he said, if you wanna get good at designing something, you make a hundred of them. And so I love drawing dragons and I wanted to improve. So uh, I proceeded to draw a hundred of them <laughs> over five years. A big thing with this series too is all of these suggestions came from you guys. So honestly, I don't think this challenge would have happened if I didn't have the amazing community sending in a lot of really cool ideas for dragons. So today was one I have been holding in my back pocket for forever. You probably already saw it from the title or maybe I left the title elusive. I don't know what I'm gonna name this yet, but I wanted to do a Hydra dragon as our final dragon. I thought it'd be really cool and epic to do one final big send off and do a cool multi-headed dragon. But I took this one a step further. So for this, I decided to tie in another thing on the channel where I do a monster mash of combining different animals and creatures. And so this final dragon is a monster mash of five of the existing dragons in the challenge. So I picked basically my top five, like the five designs I've always really liked and enjoyed from the series. So we're gonna have the Beholder Dragon, the Greed Dragon, the Crystal Dragon, the Cryptid Dragon, and what's the other one? <laughs> Uh, Beholder, Greed, Crystal, Cryptid. I just finished drawing this, Caitlin. Oh my God, and the Tiger Dragon. I got there, <laughs> all five. So we're basically doing a giant dragon mash and I'm really excited to kind of tie in one of the big staples of the channel of taking animals and creatures and putting them together and just like taking our existing dragon designs and making one big epic final dragon. So with this one, I'm gonna be doing it digitally just because it was gonna be a much bigger piece and I wanted to do it justice. I didn't think I'd have enough room on a piece of paper. So let's jump in and get this drawing started. So we're trying something a little new with this video, just like with my paper 100 dragon challenge, I wanted to do a couple different angles. So just right there, you saw I had a camera pointing at the Wacom tablet and we're gonna have a digital speed paint. We're gonna kind of jump between the two so you can see like a few cool angles and uh, see me draw live like right on the tablet, but then also see like the full digital piece as it comes together. It's kind of like a mixed bag on how it turned out. I'm like happy with some of the shots with uh, how the camera is pointed at the tablet, but it's really hard to record a digital screen, especially like on certain brightnesses and how like the camera processes it. But you know, I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys enjoy like the cool different uh, angles of this video. So yeah, this is the final dragon. Um, it actually changed quite a bit from what I was thinking uh, for a couple of different ideas leading up to this. I'll be totally transparent with you guys. This was not my first original idea for the final 100. I mean, it was similar. Uh, either way, it was going to be a Hydra dragon, but my original idea was to do a head for every dragon that I've made. And uh, I honestly, I did start sketching it before I started this one and I really did not like how it was looking. I just, just was too messy, wasn't very cohesive and it just looked like, I love how my friend Janelle put it, a head bouquet, you know, they're just kind of all stuck together in clumps and it just didn't, it didn't really do them justice and I it was like, I can make something better. So we basically got to this one where I kind of picked my top favorite dragons and did a monster mash, which I thought was so fitting. Like one of the big things on this channel is doing cool monster mashes. And so it was a little hard to pick five, honestly. Uh, I brought in 10 different ones on this canvas before I got started. And I just looked at all of them. I'm like, man, which ones are like my favorite? And I would slowly like delete one out of the 10. And I'm like, okay, I don't like this one as much because of this, or I don't like this one as much because of this. And I slowly whittled it down to these five. It was, it was a very tough choice because I think it would be really fun to mash any of these dragons, but you know, these five just really jived with me. And then I loved it because I was planning on making this Hydra a five-headed one, like after I knew I was gonna just do a mash 
of dragons. I'm like, cool, I wanna do a cool odd number head setup and it's five heads and then serendipitously wise, I'd probably use that word wrong, um, I did five dragons. So it was like five dragons mashed together for a five headed Hydra. I just thought that was perfect. And I was really happy that this, that just kind of worked out. Like I didn't really plan for it to be five on five, but that's how it ended up. And it was really nice working digitally with this one. I know I talked earlier about not wanting to do traditional because of, of loss of detail. Um, I think I could do like some of this drawing traditionally, like maybe if I did a headshot, I totally could, but there's just way too much detail for me to work really small on paper. And I just didn't want to sacrifice quality for how big and epic this final one was going to be. So at least my thought process with this one, um, I knew that I wanted to incorporate the multiple eyes from the beholder dragon. I kind of practiced or like penciled out uh, doing all the little eye tendrils and I really wasn't digging it. It was making it way too busy and a little too messy. Like I think the eye tendrils would have been really cool. Um, but with this many heads, I think it was going to get a little bit too intense. Uh, so I ended up putting them like multiple eyes on the head and the body to still kind of mimic that multiple eye setup, which I think worked really well. Uh, and just kind of also copied the plating from its chest. I wanted to bring that in because I love how the stomach plating turned out on the Beholder Dragon. So I knew I had to bring that over. And then from the Crystal Dragon, it's obvious like I, I put crystals along the body like that's kind of like it's like growing out of the skin. And I wanted these to be like really nice hits and pops of color along the body. And then I was also like, how cool would it be to have like kind of crystals growing out of its chin? Not like a, a goatee per se, but just like I thought it would look really cool and add a nice element to the face in general. For the cryptid dragon, I took its general wing kind of shape and had those like fleshier, foldier wings, um, as well as the different like boils around the body that were on the cryptid dragon. I thought that just kind of added a weird, creepy aspect to it. I don't know, my head cannon is with this dragon, the boils start first and then they erupt into these crystals. Like, so this thing is like maybe slowly being consumed by the crystals or uh, maybe being infected by some type of similar parasite, or maybe it's just kind of a way that it builds its plating. Like maybe um, the crystals add an extra bit of armor. So maybe when one is broken off, um, one of these boils pops up to then regrow a crystal. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of a couple of ideas. I was kind of tumbling around in the brain. And then with the greed dragon, I wanted the overall head shape because I really love how that head shape turned out. And later I actually used the green as a big primary color for this dragon. I really loved the coloring job in general on the greed dragon and just its overall shape and multiple legs. So I knew I had to use that in this bigger Hydra Dragon. And then finally, the Tiger Dragon. I just wanted some cool long necks and elongated bodies, as well as adding the stripes all over the body. And I couldn't resist adding in the mane. I love the mane from the Tiger Dragon. So I was like, this will be really cool going down the spines of each of these heads, as well as like kind of like into the back uh, and then transitioning to the end of the tail being like the crystal instead of like a, a fur end. So yeah, that's kind of was my thought process for combining all of these different dragons. And it turned out to be such a cool and intense monster. Like I was so glad with how this dragon turned out. Like I said, at first it was a little intimidating to think of combining very, I guess, detailed or like, I guess, very designed dragons. I didn't want to like overuse um, aspects of one and like neglect the other ones, but I think this one was a really good combination of the five. I was very happy with how this turned out. And it was really fun doing kind of a bigger piece. And I got to take my time with this one because with YouTube this year, I think I'm gonna slow down a bit. I'll probably make a video about this later, but. I want to take my time with videos and actually perfect my craft more so than like turn and burn videos constantly. Um, I already was slowing down last year, but I 
really appreciated this one just because I got to have fun and take my time. I didn't give myself a hard deadline. I wasn't like, I have to get it by X Friday. It was just nice to like, let it happen and let it be created as it needed to be. And I think that just kind of unlocked it being more fun for me. Like I've always really enjoyed all of these dragons, but I would be lying if, you know, some of the weeks or months weren't super stressful to turn and burn a dragon really quickly. I mean, I even talk about it in the recap on how a few of them were pretty rushed. So this was nice to just go through, relax, draw, and, you know, take my time with it. I mean, it probably also helps that I haven't really drawn in a little bit when I started this dragon. I've done like little doodles and I've been working on my comic and such, but I haven't really uh, sat down and done a big drawing piece in a while. It's been like a lot of little mini projects. And I think with this one, though, it, it had been at least a week since I had touched my comic or any other drawings when I started this one. So it was just kind of a nice refresher to jump into this one and, you know, bust out a really cool detailed dragon like this. And then with this color palette, I really love how this turned out. It was just so cool to have these different shades work so well together. Being in the United States, it's a little hard to do green and red together because a lot of people immediately think Christmas, but I've been really liking it more and more and it doesn't give me that type of holiday vibe. Honestly, this one reminds me of Ganondorf from Zelda. Now that I'm looking at it again, it's just like the green and the red and the gray. Oh my God, I just made Ganondorf, the Hydra Ganondorf. <laughs> but I love this. I love this color palette. I love this combo. It's just... It's so cool and like I love the idea of like let's say you enter a cavern to fight this thing or see it or something and just the light shimmering off of all of those gemstones all over its body. Ugh, I'm just so pleased with this color choice. And then it was nice because like going from marker to digital, I can't get the exact green. Like yeah, I can eyedropper it, but you know, whenever you scan or take a photo of something, if you eyedrop or a certain like part of it, it's just going to be a pixel of color. It might not be the exact color that was used or exists on the paper. Uh, but I was really glad that I was able to isolate the one and get pretty dang close to the original greed dragon and like the mane of the tiger dragon. I just uh, I'm so pleased with this one. It's really cool. And I mean, I'll talk about this more in the outro, but I just I can't believe we're done. <laughs> I can't five years like I feel like I'm gonna have to like turn around and make another dragon but also not like there's a big sense of like relief that we're finished and like this is the final one but then I'm also in the back of my brain I'm like okay get ready for next month Caitlin just because this has been my life for like five years like I've taken small breaks along the process of making these dragons I've gone from weekly to bi-weekly to monthly. Like we've changed the schedule of this around so much just because doing YouTube on top of having a full-time job is really difficult. So like kind of tailoring the schedule of this and working around my life schedule has been interesting, but like it ended up being so perfect that we got to finish on the year of the dragon. Like. I didn't plan this at all because originally, like if I was to stick with, I think I was doing bi-weekly uploads to start. And even with that, I think I would have finished like around three years into doing the challenge. So it would not have been anywhere close to the year of the dragon. So it's just so cool that the accidental coincidence of the perfect amount of breaks I took, the perfect amount of rescheduling and changing the schedule of this challenge like put us here on the perfect year to end this challenge it's just it's so cool and like weirdly like it feels like fate you know and uh i'm just so pleased to be done with the challenge both like happy about my accomplishments and happy that oh my god i'm done drawing all these dragons like i love dragons and i still will draw them like even after drawing a hundred of them i'm not going anywhere I'm, like i'm not gonna not draw a dragon you know uh but it's just so nice to have it done and like I can point to it and be like I did it I completed it like we made it I just I can't believe it it's crazy 
So I'm putting the final touches on our shading and highlights for this dragon. I end up adding a background that I did not record. So just a heads up, you'll see like the background here at the end when I do the pan over of the drawing. Uh, but I am so happy with how this looks. It's just, it's so cool. And I felt like it was just a nice final send off piece to complete and draw and uh, it's just awesome. I am so pleased and thank you guys so much for following along with this challenge, making it to this hundredth dragon and uh, it, we're done. It's so cool. It's so cool. So yeah, there it is, the final signature for the final 100th dragon. We did it. I'm so excited that this is finally done. Ugh, I can't believe it. It just looks so cool. But before we move on, we got to do a final community feature. So for the year of the dragon dragon, thank you all so much for submitting for this final dragon. A normal ADM. This was so cool to see the lore behind yours, like the mirror dragon. That was really cool. And this piece is just so gnarly and awesome. And Luzu's art, this one is just so cool with like the glow and the effect. And I love how you rendered this one. It's just a really cool, intimidating dragon. And then I'm going to shout out Dragon Coolali, <laughs> Scorching Shadow, and Raven Wolf. So thank you guys so much for participating in this final dragon. You guys are awesome. And uh, let's get into our little outro. So that's it, guys. That's it. All 100 are officially done. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like I've already talked about this in the recap. You can go see my full kind of emotional experience after reacting to 99 dragons for two hours. Uh, <laughs> I, we're done. It's, it's done. It's crazy. So I want to just say thank you to all of you for being a part of this community, for sticking around through this challenge and like supporting me and supporting my work and you know, also submitting your dragons. It was really cool to see every, well, when we were doing it weekly to monthly, basically every time we posted a dragon, it was really cool to see your guys' interpretations of it and how diverse and different these designs could be. And just how many of you just think so outside the box and it's just so cool. Like I am so grateful for this. And I think the community aspect was probably my favorite. Like, it was cool to see myself grow and evolve with this challenge as well, but I think my favorite was seeing your guys' submissions over these five years. It's, it's crazy. So I raise a sparkling water because this is my editing night and I'm recording this outro right before editing this video. Um, but I raise this to you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for your amazing support, sticking with me all these years, and uh, we're done. Cheers to 100 dragons. I don't know if I'll ever do a hundred challenge again. I think this was enough, but we'll see in the future. But anyway, cheers guys. Thanks again. And I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.